Right now, we are facing a man-made disaster of global scale. Our greatest threat in thousands of years, climate change. If we don't take action, the collapse of our civilizations and the extinction of much of the natural world is on the horizon. One can see from space how the human race has changed the Earth. Nearly all the available land has been cleared of forest and is now used for agriculture or urban development. The polar ice caps are shrinking and the desert areas are increasing. At night, the Earth is no longer dark, but large areas are lit up. We cannot continue to pollute the atmosphere, twice in the ocean, and exhaust the land. There isn't any more available. Some people say that I should be in school instead. Some people say that I should study to become a climate scientist so that I can solve the climate crisis. But the climate crisis has already been solved. We already have all the facts and solutions. All we have to do is to wake up and change. And why should I be studying for a future that soon will be no more? when no one is doing anything whatsoever to save that future. Die Irreversibilität der Veränderung ökologischer Systeme in ihrer Regeneration ist, glaube ich, einfach noch nicht begriffen worden. More than 15,000 scientists are sounding an alarm about climate change. They call it a warning to humanity. It comes exactly 25 years after 1,500 scientists issued a similar warning. So now it's tenfold. And the day two politicians are arguing about whether science is true, it means nothing gets done. Nothing. It's the beginning of the end of an informed democracy. Science is only the beginning. Communication, awareness raising is only the beginning. The real issues are about why we disagree about what to do about climate change. And science cannot provide us with the script that we all read from. The people have spoken. Leaders of the world, you must lead. The continuation of our civilizations and the natural world upon which we depend is in your hands. <laughs>